Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi guys, it's nice to see you again. I'm so glad that you're back again today because today we have a really exciting brand new Disney subscription box and it is from a company called Dizbox. And all of Dizbox's information is gonna be listed down below. They did send this to me for reviewing purposes. This is a brand new box company. Now this one is not customized to my preferences, just so you're aware. So they actually just asked for my shirt size and that's all. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So let's open Dizbox. Uh, <laughs> see what I did there? Oh yeah. my best friend Scar. Scar is my unboxing knife and we're just gonna slam right into this guy. It is wrapped in like a uh, brown paper and I don't know what the price point of this box is um, but I'm going to obviously find out when I open it so I'll make sure to let you guys know. They also did provide me with a promo code which is cherry10 and I will again link all of their information down below but i'm so excited to see what's inside of this box and hopefully we can find out what it is oh oh this is cool okay so it's a box within a box so let me see if i can get this out just a moment Woo! okay we had some difficulties getting that i actually just ripped the box in two <laughs> Hooked it, you missed it. <laughs> but this box looks really cool. It looks like a trunk. I How cool is this box? So it says Orlando, and it's got a ticket, it's got a little Chicago symbol. We've got the Luxo ball and Mickey's shoe. We've got the Epcot emblem, Lake Buena Vista Village, which is the city that Walt Disney World is located in. We've got <laughs> Everest. We've got a Walt Disney card that says Walt Disney cartoonist, comic cartoons, Kansas City, Missouri. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then Florida with a little Mickey head. And then on the bottom, we have a California postcard. This packaging is super duper cool. You guys did a great job on the packaging. Let's open this guy up and see. So it says, the, it says Dizbox and then, oh, that's cute. What does it say on the top? For Disney people, by Disney people. <laughs> and they have a Facebook and an Instagram, so I'll link both of those down below. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So let's start here. So, oh, okay, so it has all of these small shops and they all come with promo codes to each of the individual shops. That is so cool. I will link all of those codes down below but I feel like it's gonna spoil what's in the box. So let's start in what's in the box and, and see what we have. Okay, so we're gonna start with the t-shirt. So here is the t-shirt that's wrapped in a really cute wrapping. <laughs> this is super cute. So this says, park hop till you drop and it has all of the emblems and they're all the classic emblems from Walt Disney World. So you've got the, the castle, Epcot, you've got the water tower from MGM, you've got the um, Animal Kingdom tree and then also the Mickey over the O. That is super cute. I love that and it's just a plain white tee. Oh, I found a card. Ah, that's so cool. Oh, it's the castle with the new paint job. Oh, it's so pretty. So here's a postcard that's inside of the Diz box and it says this information on the back, I'll read it to you. It says, hello, Ernie Carr is an Orlando photographer who loves visiting the Disney parks to capture crispy photos. He has been an annual pass holder since 2016 and began photographing as a dedicated hobby in 2019. 
You can find more of Ernie's work on his Instagram page at Ernie W Carr. And it says stay crispy. That is so cute. And it, I think that's probably him in the stamp. I will link his information down below. I love that this box is promoting so many small businesses. I am here for small shops. I promote and love all small shops. So this is just super duper cool that they are doing this. So very nice. And this photo is stunning. I think I'm going to hang this in my office to remind me of home. <laughs> okay. And next we have a Disney pin and this looks like a, oh yes, this is a hidden Mickey pin. Ooh. Okay. So they do have some license to Disney products. Let me just look at the back of it and make sure. Oh yeah, it totally is. Interesting. Well, this is super cool. So this is an Apple hidden Mickey pin. Let me bring it closer to the camera so you can take a look so at it. So here is this hidden Mickey pin. It's an apple, which I think is super cute. It looks very close to a cherry. So um, I definitely think I'll put it on like my little cherry area of my board. But how you can tell it's a hidden Mickey is you see the little tiny Mickey in the corner there. These pins are actually only for sale in mystery style. They're traded within the park for a time period. And then they are placed into small mystery bags that you can purchase at the pin stores. But this is an authentic Disney pin, which is really cool. I wasn't sure if this box was going to only have small shop. But here is the back of the pin. And you can see it's got that beautiful Mickey waffle back. And it is an authentic Disney pin. Very cool. So we have, I believe this is a bar of soap and it is so cute. This is the um, Mickey Suds and Scrubs Company and it is a flipping Mickey waffle. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wanna take it out of the packaging so you can see what it looks like, but it smells like, oh God, it smells like cinnamon. That smells so good. It's like, <clears throat> it's definitely spicy. It's almost like a chai tea kind of smell. And here it is. It is a bar of soap, but how cute is that? Doesn't that look just like a Mickey waffle? Oh, I love that. And this is by Mickey's Suds and Scrubs. I will link their information down below as well. This is so cool. I love opening small shop items. The next item that we're getting is actually a candle, which is really cool. This is called the Epcot candle. What would an Epcot smell like? Hopefully not figment. <laughs> <laughs> it's C&E &E, Craft Company and it's an all natural soy wax candle. Okay, let's smell this baby. Oh, oh, this is very vanilla scented. It smells very, very soft and very vanilla-y. I'm not sure where that smell is from in Epcot. It doesn't remind me of any like Soren or anything along those lines. It smells very nice though. Let's take a look at this candle a little bit closer. The packaging on this is super duper cute. So you've got all of the different pavilions. And then you'll see here, it says C and E candle company with Epcot. And it says that it's an eight ounce soy candle. And then more pavilions with little fireworks. It's just such a cute design. I love that. And then inside it does have a screw top. And it's just got a plain soy candle in there. And can you smell it? <laughs> what do you think? You'll have to let me know down below what your favorite Epcot scent is. Mine is obviously anything from Soren. I particularly love the jasmine scent that is in the Taj Mahal scene. And also Fiji. Love, love, love that smell. Next, so we have a kingdombath.com Polynesian. I'm assuming bath bomb because it's, whoa, oh my gosh. That smells so good. Oh, I wish I can't open it. It smells like very florally and very tropical-y, but this is in um, just like this little plastic wrap. There's nothing imprinted on it or anything. It's just a plain uh, bath bomb, but man, it smells super good. I've never had the opportunity to stay at the Polynesian. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're changing the Polynesian to Moana themed. Like, how do we feel about that? I am... I have mixed feelings because sometimes I feel like I just want Disney to have 
something that's completely unique to the parks and doesn't have to be involved in a movie. That's just my personal opinion. I know that there's some serious Moana stands out there that are gonna be like, this is it, this is my moment, and I respect that. Um, but that, just my two cents, I just kind of wish that they would have left it alone. But okay, anyway, moving on, let's take a closer look at this, gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> There's a bath bomb. So here is the bath bomb. It is like a light baby pink and it's in this really cool wrapping So I would imagine you just like splooch it out right into your bathtub But this will be really nice. I'll let you guys know on Instagram what I think of it. Um, I haven't been taking many baths lately, but it's getting much, much colder here in Alaska. So that's definitely going to change. And again, this is from kingdombath.com and it's the Polynesian scent. Now, the last thing in the box I'm seeing are these super duper cute ears. These ears have like a really nice rose gold bow and they're very, very lightweight. Let me give you a close up of these. So here they are. Isn't that bow beautiful? And then here is the back of them. They are just very lightweight, very small. These would be great for people, I think, who um, struggle with headaches from uh, heavier or larger ears. I think this would be the way to go. But let's try these on and see what they look like. Oh, these are really cute. Okay, so here are the ears. I love the color of the bow. It's so pretty. Cute. Okay, I'm going to leave these on for the rest of the video. <laughs> And the last thing I want to show you is actually inside of the box because this is something that needs to be noted. It is a vintage map. It is a vintage map of a Magic Kingdom. How cool is that? I love all things vintage and I think that is super duper cool. This was a, such a fun box to open. I will um, leave the Dizbox's information down below. Again, if you want to use promo code CHERRY10 to save 10% off of your box, please do so. You'll have to let me know down below what you think of this box. I thought it was really fun. I personally love, love small shop items and I also love supporting small businesses. So I love that that's what they're all about. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe down below, join our Cherry Blossom family. And also you'll be wanting to follow me on Instagram, which is at Miss Jessie Cherry. We've got a couple of very exciting announcements coming to the channel very, very soon within the next few days and you are not gonna wanna miss this. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Huge thank you to Dizbox for sending this my direction and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye!